Hey everyone, I'm Connor and welcome to my channel The Closet. If it's your first time here on my channel, I like to talk about all things luxury and occasionally I like to go on the old cheeky little vlog. So I am packing for my Sydney trip, which I'm leaving <laughs> this afternoon or tonight and I haven't packed anything because I'm a, I'm a day of the leaving packing. So that's just who I am, cannot change me. And um, yeah, so I'm flying down to Sydney tonight um, and I'm meeting Dale and Meredith. Um, if you're unfamiliar with those fab ladies, Dale is, um, well, the best thing since sliced bread and she has a YouTube channel as well, Dale's Addiction. And also Meredith, she is also the best thing since sliced bread as well. And <laughs> she also has a YouTube channel at Living Lux with Meredith and I will tag both their channels down in the description box just in case you haven't heard of them. What are you doing with your life? But um, yeah, I'm packing at the moment. I've got to do all the, that is the most unflattering angle ever. Um, I've got to do all the, the shit you've got to do, but honestly, oh, I just want to, I don't know. I just want to like pack everything that I use every single day in the thing. Like I hate missing stuff, <laughs> but it's just like, why would I pack stuff that I'm not going to use? So I've arrived and I am deceased, like exhausted, but I feel like I've been traveling for weeks, even though it was like <laughs> an hour and a half flight, but um, I'm in Sydney. Um, when I was at the airport, I was like waiting for my bag to come and like my suitcase. And um, this lady was on the phone and she like took my suitcase and I knew it was mine because I had um, like this scuff on the back and you know when you just know like it's yours and I was on the opposite side and I was like oh no and I was like oh wait maybe it's hers and I was like no it's definitely mine so I was like trying to walk over and then I could see as she was walking she kind of like looked down and then read that it had like my name on the little sticker thing and she like turned around and I was like oh that's my bag it's got the handy in it um yeah look probably should not travel with the Lux in the checked baggage. Everyone's probably gonna be like, oh no, it's a big no-no, but I just, I didn't wanna take um, overhead, what's it called? What do you call that stuff? You know, the ones you put in the overhead because I just could not be bothered waiting on the plane for every Tom, Dick and Harry to get stuff out. So I just put everything in the suitcase, but yeah, she nearly got herself some goodies. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go to bed because this state that Sydney is in does daylight saving, so it's an hour ahead of my state, even though they're in the same time zone, which confuses me, but I'm going to bed and then I will wake up looking fib. All right, boy. Um, so yesterday when I was packing, I had like three toiletry bags um, and I definitely put two of them in the suitcase because they're here, but the third one, I don't know what I did to it. Like I, in my mind, I thought I put it in the suitcase, but it, it ain't in the suitcase, so maybe I didn't. <laughs> and that had like my toothbrush in it and like deodorant. So yeah, last night I, it was so late and I was just like, I can't be bothered. I've just got to brush my teeth with my finger. So I literally, I have toothpaste in my other toiletry bag, just not my toothbrush. So yeah, that was not a proud moment, but I've got to go get that now. So you can come on a little you know, walk with me.
pretty in the elderly bathrooms are. And then the toilet, it washes your bum and then it opens. Look at that majestic. <laughs> so if you want your bum cleaned, this one. come back from being out all day with Dale and Meredith and we had so much fun. I am exhausted so I just had a little nap before we go out to dinner um, but I picked up something so I got something from the Weiwei and I also got something from Golden Goose which is exciting so I thought I might quickly unbox them with you because I want to wear the shoes from Golden Goose <laughs> so let's do it. So first I got a fragrance from Loewe because we don't have a Loewe store in Brisbane. And this is the 001 Women's EDP Natural Spray. Um, I smelled all of the fragrances that I had, the men's, the women's, the unisex, and this one to me was the best. Now Dale has it as well and it's a very, like, it's a, the initial smell is like a very fresh coconut smell, almost like like a bounty chocolate or like Malibu almost, but not like sickly sweet or like really earthy. It's just this perfect, fresh, very light coconut smell. Um, this was obviously in the EDP. I think it was 220 Australian dollars. They have an EDT version of it, which is a little bit more subtle. Um, and that's $215 for the same size. Um, so chucking it around. So yeah, it was a good buy. And this is obviously in the 100 mil. So the boxes open like this, and then they've got these beautiful, really fresh, kind of clean um, bottles. It's got this wooden lid with the anagram on top, um, and I want to wear this tonight, so that's why I'm doing the unboxing now. But yeah, if you if you happen to smell the Loewe fragrances, definitely go um, and check them out in store. I'm not sure if department stores have them. I don't think David Jones or any of that have them in Australia, but definitely check them out. They're very different to um, a lot of the fragrances that are out there. So thumbs up, Loewe. And next were um, a pair of sneakers from Golden Goose. Now, um, ever since I saw Dale unbox her Golden Goose sneakers, I was just like, oh my God, I love them. And I definitely wanted to purchase them in a store versus ordering them in online, just because sizing and the experience and getting them customized, um, I really wanted to do that in store. Um, so we don't have a Golden Goose store um, in Brisbane or on the Gold Coast. So um, I was waiting till I either went down to Melbourne next or Sydney, but obviously I'm in Sydney, so gotta do it. I want to wear these tonight as well, so that's why I'm doing the unboxing here. So they come in this cool packaging. Hopefully I can do this one-handed. I 
love their um, branding and everything. Dream for Dream is only not designed for other activities. So cute. Look at the customization I got. So I'll try put the the name of these exact sneakers in the description box. I'll grab it off the receipt. Um, but I just wanted a pair that obviously had blue on them, um, and I like the distressed look, especially with um, gold goose sneakers. I think it's so synonymous with them. Um, but these are just so cool. I love obviously the blue star. It's got a bit of a metallic finish to it. But this is the customization I got. So BNE, if you're not familiar, that's what Brisbane is abbreviated to at the airport and then Paris, obviously, because we're going to Paris. Um, but I thought it was just a cute little touch to like get put on the shoes. Um, these are incredibly comfortable. I tried them on. Um, not sure if I'll put that footage of me trying on shoes before this or after this, probably before. Um, but yeah, these are incredibly comfortable and um, you can also take the insole out as well. But these are great and I just think they're so fun. Um, I didn't get the, what's it called, the um, personalization on the other shoe. I thought it was just cute getting it just on the right foot. Um, but yeah, I just, I think that they are very, just a, a vibe, absolute vibe. I'm going to wear them tonight, so hopefully it goes with what I'm wearing, but they're pretty, um, pretty, what's the word, versatile, but yes. I didn't get any um, extra distressing or anything. These are just, they came like pre-distressed, but you can, there's so many different things that you can get done to them.
And I am back home and I had such an amazing time. Um, it was very jam packed in the two days, but um, totally worth it. Meredith, I take my hat off to you every time I go down and see you. It is always a VIP experience. Uh, the first day Meredith invited myself and Dale to a private lunch um, at the Louis Vuitton flagship store in Sydney. And we were accompanied by the store manager, her two sales associates, her partner, and then uh, Dale joined later when she got into Sydney. And um, we, there, Louis Vuitton's private chef um, prepared, I think a three course meal. And it was, you know, a mate, like just absolutely amazing. And it was just perfect. And we got a chat, I think we were there for like three or four hours talking and eating and drinking. Oh yeah, there was lots of champagne. And honestly, it was just perfect. And then when Dale um, arrived, it was even better. And um, then we did a bit of shopping after that, which you would have seen before. And then um, I went back to my room, had a sleep. And then we went out for dinner to this amazing restaurant called Key, which is right down in Sydney Harbour. And um, it was a eight course meal. <laughs> and if you know me, I'm a fussy eater. I was like paranoid. I was like, oh my God. But honestly, I ate it all. And um, it was just phenomenal. The views was amazing. The food was amazing. And the whole thing was just, you know, like, just epic. So Meredith, thank you so much for inviting us to this. It was just beautiful. Um, and then today we had, um, I think I joined Dale and Meredith. They were doing a little bit of shopping. And then after that, we went to Fendi, another incredible experience at the Fendi flagship store. Once again, Meredith had organized with um, their sales associate, Lily. Um, we had a private uh, room where there was like high tea food and they got us coffee. Um, and we had a, a few hours in um, the private room just with the stock at our fingertips, being able to try stuff on, look it in the mirror, talk amongst it. Um, it was just absolutely phenomenal. And then Fendi organized a Uber for us to go out for lunch where they took us with the store director um, and, and Lily, their sales associate. And so Lily, if you're watching this, you are fabulous. We love you. And it was so lovely meeting you. Um, but yeah, honestly, the lunch was beautiful um, and Fendi took care of all of it. And it was just, uh, you, you know, you feel like you're, like living, living life large when you do all these things. So I'm so grateful that, you know, Meredith, you invited us and I've said it five million times, but I really, really am. Um, and now I'm back home and I'm exhausted, but yeah, I had such a good time. I need to go down to Sydney for longer because every time I go, I try to like, we jam pack so much stuff in a few days, but I'm home now. Hopefully this vlog looks okay, but you know, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and let me know in the comments down below what you thought and I hope to see you all very soon in the next video.